What is going on guys, it's Lightning Games here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Horizon Forbidden West. We're going to hop in and see what this game has to offer today. Alright, we're going to go ahead and continue. Alright, here we go. All right, I remember in last episode there was I need to attach the master override to my new spear. Yep, with a workbench. Should be a workbench around here I can use. All right, looks like I remember correctly. Uh, uh, what are you? Is that a statue of me? That's <laughs> new. Oh shit. Okay, workbench, 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 workbench. Savior. The orb remains untouched, as per Blameless Maraud's instructions. Uh... Workbench. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Are you aware? No, you're not aware of things. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. Oh, I, I get to pick things? Um, years of hostility. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Barren Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No, not in this case. Fashav is my cousin, nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands, and has been held ever since. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. 
The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. Itaman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But... I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly perhaps flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. I'm assuming there's some tension there from a previous game or something like that. But, um, this being the first one of these games that I played, it's, uh, interesting. Alright. I'm just looking for a workbench, man. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion! Will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. 
We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! That little fucking kid's so cute. Alright. Wait, I can admire the statue? Check it out. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Okay, workbench. The only notification I see is right here. Modify your spear, 54 meters. Okay, let's follow this guy. I was reading the top of my screen. I'm gonna go up here. Probably not supposed to, but I'm going up here. There, the workbench. Holy shit. All right. Craft. Oh, is there anything else I can craft? No, just this. All right. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Where's the resonator? I guess that's resonator, like, it's vibrating. Welcome back to the Alliance. Okay. Interesting. Talk. That's it. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? Huh. <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> it's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that oh, he was so close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> can, I, can I back out? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think all that's done. All right, farewell. Well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. At least they didn't confess their love to me. All right, moving on. Um, I guess I'm gonna go to the green check mark. Well, that's everyone. I guess oh, it's nice to catch up. Tap R1 to perform a lightweight melee attack. melee attack. Tap R2 to perform a heavy melee attack. Hold R2 to, try to charge up a power attack. Okay, so light. 
Okay, now here's a heavy. Okay, and then here is a charged. Doesn't matter how long I charge it for. Doesn't seem that way. around some controls a little bit okay let's get the hell out of here let's start this new adventure are you the guy Aloy are you finished with your friends or do you need more time get me the I hell out of here going. and if I'm headed west it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh as you said where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. She's leaving your right. ass. I'm calling her right now. She's waking up in the middle of the night and ditching this dude. <sighs> Her eyes are going to be open. Yep. Later, loser. Beyond the shore 
box to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. <sighs> Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light? He's the one supposed to run it! don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... this... what? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious. Wadi sent Aaron and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak. Hey! Shh. Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What, to the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. 
Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. Alright guys, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you all for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next one. Lightning out.